In this video, I'm going to talk about the five best penny stocks to buy now. One of these stocks has the potential to not only double your money, but one of these is backed by one of the world's largest companies, while another has a major catalyst in the coming weeks. This is a must watch video for anyone who is serious about penny stocks in 2024. Now we have a lot to get through in this video, so I'm going to keep this intro short, but if you find any value in this, can I ask you to smash the like button? It literally costs you nothing, but it helps me out so much. I'm aiming to get 500 likes on this video, help me achieve that goal. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any new content like this. I want to point out that this is not financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor, so always do your own due diligence. And I would really appreciate if you could answer the question at the end of this video. Now, let's get straight into it. Soundhound AI is a global leader in conversational intelligence, offers voice AI solutions that let businesses offer incredible conversational experiences to their customers with best in class speed and accuracy in more than 25 languages to product creators across automotive, TV, Internet of Things and customer service industries. Soundhound has several AI driven products like smart answering, smart ordering and dynamic drive through. Along with Soundhound Chat AI, a powerful voice assistant with integrated generative AI, Soundhound powers millions of products and services and processes billions of interactions each year for world-class businesses. And we can see here those leading companies such as Samsung, Oracle, Square and even Nvidia are amongst the leading brands that chose Soundhound AI. Looking at the most recent investors presentation, Soundhound is estimating their current addressable market at approximately 40 billion. And we can see here how the business has been growing rapidly over the past few years. Soundhound also has strong patent protection with over 270 patents across a number of different categories that are listed here. And financially, Soundhound AI has been going from strength to strength over the past few years with over 50% compound annual growth rate since 2020. Now this stock really caught attention earlier this year when Nvidia disclosed that they were holding several million dollars worth of Soundhound AI stock. And when we look at MarketBeat we can see that Soundhound AI is well backed by Wall Street analysts and is rated as a strong buy with the average price target of $6.88 which gives upside of 48% from the current price. But the most recent price targets that were set in the past month rate this stock as a buy with a price target of up to $9 which is 100% upside from the current price. And just this week, Soundhound have announced that they have chosen to pay off debt early, with the company saying that this will wipe out its remaining $100 million in debt and also saves it $55 million in interest and fees. This could be a great time to be looking at SOU in stock. IQSTEL is a US-based technology company offering leading edge telecommunications and technology services. This company is traded on the OTCQX, ticker symbol IQST. The company is fully reporting penny stock with fantastic corporate governance, an independent board of directors and an audit committee, which is something that not every OTC company has. IQST offer leading edge services in both business to business and business to customer divisions through several subsidiaries across separate business divisions. These include Enhanced Telecommunications Division, which includes their Internet of Things and Proprietary Blockchain Platforms, their Fintech Services Division, Electric Vehicle Division, and their AI Enhanced Metaverse. IQST has a global presence, and its products and services are used across several industries in telecommunications, EV financial services, and distribution industries. And they have lots of customers, which we can see here. Some of these are very well known, such as IBM, Verizon, or Vodafone. And just this week, IQSTEL announced that it's increasing its revenue forecast for full year 2024 up to $290 million in revenue. The forecast increase is based both on anticipated organic growth and the revenue contribution from a recent acquisition. So IQSTEL reported $144 million in 2023, so now 290 million represents a year over year revenue increase of more than 100%. And this does not include any contribution from the recently announced acquisition of Link Telecom, which is anticipated to close no later than July 4th. So there we go, we have a catalyst in the acquisition of Link, and of course a major catalyst that the company is preparing for a Nasdaq uplisting. Geron Corporation is a late stage clinical biopharmaceutical company focused on the development and commercialization of therapies for hematologic 
malignancies. Now, this company has a huge catalyst coming up in the next two weeks that could skyrocket this stock. Geron is pursuing blood cancer treatments with the potential to extend and enhance lives. Their first-in-class investigational inhibitor, Imetalstat, harnesses Nobel Prize-winning science in a treatment that may alter the underlying drivers of the disease. Now, the company has a broad product pipeline across multiple malignancies. And when we look here, we can see that there is a number of these of phase two and phase three. But, but the most important is this one here, where there's a Padufa date set for June 16th. So let's face it, this does not automatically guarantee that they will get FDA approval on June 16th. But look at this. Back in March, Geron announced FDA Oncology Drugs Advisory Committee votes in favor of clinical benefit risk profile of Immunostat. The FDA Advisory Committee voted 12 to 2 in favor of the clinical benefit based on the results of the phase 3 clinical trial. Now, 12 to 2 is a huge vote. So on June 16th, I think that Geron will have the FDA approval, and although there is nothing guaranteed, Geron plans to commercially launch Immunostat in Metalstat in the US upon potential FDA approval. They consider that the company is well positioned for the US launch straight away. Then the company has several more planned analysis expected over the next three years. While they also have the resources in place to get through the next two years, but everything hinges on the approval this month of a Metalstat. Now, Geron stock is currently only 389. But when the FDA news broke back in March, this caused a huge 100% gain, going from just 160 up to 330, and the stock has been on an upward trend since. Recent analyst price targets range from between 450 up to $10, with an average price target of 610, and the stock is rated as a buy by Wall Street analysts. Aduro Clean Technologies is a Canadian developer of patented water-based technologies to chemically recycle plastics and transform heavy crude and renewable oils into feedstocks that may be used in the production of new plastics or transportation fuels. Aduro currently has applied their technology to three major markets, to chemically recycle waste plastics, convert heavy crude and bitumen into lighter, more valuable oil, and transform renewable oils into high value fuels or renewable chemicals. Now, this is the type of technology it is always important to have actual patents and have the technology reviewed and validated. And Aduro do have several patents on the technology and also one patent pending. The company is advancing full speed ahead to scale its application. But the big thing about this company is the size of its potential market that they will obtain as well as massive partnerships that the company has already succeeded in gaining. Partnerships with world leading companies. Now, this is a company with a tiny market cap. Aduro is currently valued at about $70 million. But this is rising significantly in recent months. But we can easily see here that the stock is on an upward trend over the past year. When I first called Aduro on this channel early last year, it was trading at only 67 cents. So the stock is trending upwards and making huge gains. Now, as I said a moment ago, Aduro has secured valuable partnerships. And these include a partnership with Switch Energy and Prospera Energy in Canada, as well as Camelot Innovations and Learning Labs in the Netherlands, with the aim to optimize its next generation recycling platform and to accelerate the company's path to commercialization. But Aduro have also been selected by Shell, one of the world's leading energy companies, Shell, to take part in the Shell Game Changer program. And Aduro was recently selected as one of the top five Canadian cleantech stocks of 2023 by Investing News Network due to the potential of its technology and environmental benefits. One Stop Systems, ticker symbol OSS, designs, manufactures, innovative AI transportable edge computing modules and systems, including ruggedized servers and data recording software for AI workflows. These products are used for AI dataset capture, training, and large-scale inference in the defense, oil and gas, mining, and autonomous vehicle and rugged entertainment applications. OSS is a prime contractor to the US military with long-standing engagements, but has also been expanding into commercial platforms to grow its global presence. OSS have been growing their revenue in recent years, but are yet to have that breakout movement that would see the stock price rocket. 
but the company did appoint a new CEO and, and Vice President of Sales in the past year, both of whom have a long history of aerospace and defence markets with deep relationships with major Tier 1 prime military contractors. Now, with the military moving very quickly into the AI space to maintain its advantage, this is becoming important and this might just be the start of something big with OSS now recording major military contract wins. But it's not just military contracts. One Stop Systems also has major technology partners such as NVIDIA and Apple as well as Microsoft. And that's just the start. Look at the rest of this list. This is all of the world's biggest companies. OSS have the potential to grow in growth markets with estimated total addressable market of over $200 billion by 2030. Now what catches my attention is that OSS has a very low valuation, especially when compared to most of its peers as we can see here, such as the very popular AI company, Supermicro Computer. So there is definitely a lot of scope for OSS to grow exponentially. Now in this video I have looked at what I consider to be 5 top penny stocks for June 2024. But which of these do you think is best? I'm extremely bullish on two of these in particular, check the comments below to see which ones. But let me know which ones are your favourites. We have Aduro Clean Technologies who are scaling to commercialisation. Geron Corporation with a major FDA catalyst later this month. One Stop Systems with their growing military and commercial contracts. IQS Tel with their record breaking growth revenue, and NASDAQ Uplisting, or Soundhound AI, the growth AI company that is backed by Nvidia and others. Leave a comment, rank these 1 to 5. This is, of course, just my opinion and not financial advice. There is a lot of talk building on social media right now about these stocks, but always do your own due diligence. Remember that I'm not a financial advisor, but if you enjoyed this analysis, then please like and subscribe. I hope you make a lot of money on these stocks, follow me on Twitter and I'll catch you in the next video.